You got a puppy, Libby? Look at her, she's so freaking adorable, you guys. There's so many cute ones. gonna go see this dog and I don't want to like like it and then come home with it and then you're gonna tell me to like return it he said that I won't be wasting my time but he wouldn't give me like a, an answer anywho I've already given my word to this lady that I was gonna go see the dog so I'm gonna do that I did bring a blanket um, just in case and three kids are with me Alden, Livia was supposed to be napping, but she's awake now, right, Livy? And then Lena is actually sleeping in the car seat. Lena is. Okay. No, she's quiet at least. And we're gonna go to go see the donkey. I don't know, guys. It might happen. Or it might not happen. We shall see. Okay, so this is the girl. She's so cute. Hi. So she's like really small. But the mom is around here and she's gonna be as big as let me find the doggy. Livy, you see this puppy right here? Alden, do you wanna take her home? Yes. Yes, I want to take her home. You wanna take the doggy home? Hi. Look what this is. That's their other poodle. Come. 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 Doggy, come on. Oh, she's so spunky. Hi, sweet girl. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh my goodness, look at aren't you so cute? Yeah. Guys, oh my god. Okay, so we actually got a puppy and I don't know, I always feel so weird when I leave the breeder because like Because <sighs> puppies are so small so I'm hoping that this puppy is okay But let's show her to the camera Do you see the puppy in the camera, Alden? No Hey, I can get sure. the puppy again You got a puppy, Livy? I got a puppy again Oh my gosh Hey, Mama Okay, so we will talk about um, her later, okay? Alden, are you holding on to the puppy? Yes. Okay, so I think we're gonna, we have a couple of names that we were thinking for the puppy. It's either gonna be... Cherry. Cherry. Or Daddy. Yeah, Sky. Or Daddy Sky. Cookie. Or Georgia. Yeah, Georgia and Georgina. And Georgina, but I think, no, not, not Georgina. I don't like that anymore. I really, really like either Sky or cookie actually so which one do you like uh, I like sky actually sky is I so like cute sky. sky is cute Libby do you like sky yeah. or maybe something else maybe daddy might have a suggestion yeah. right let's wait, let's wait for daddy let's let daddy choose the name because we picked a dog out let's let daddy choose the name Let me give her space. Give her space so she can go pee pee, okay? Go pee pee. 
Say hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. I don't know. Oh, she's so cute. Alrighty, guys. So we just got to Walmart. Here we are. We are actually gonna go Mommy, in here to to, to where? Big Walmart. Big we were there for like an hour. So we're at Walmart. We're gonna go ahead and get some supplies for Coco. Hi, Nana. Which one is it? It's the one that has. Oh, this pro one is what she fed him. This pure balance one. Yeah, that's the one that she fed him. So let me just check my phone. I'm also gonna get some soft foods as well because we did that with Ziggy for a little bit. Soft what? Soft foods. All right, Ziggy liked this Caesar one, so maybe we should get some for Coco. One, two, two, four, five, six. Let's grab this. No, the ones like that's stacked right in front of you. These ones. I don't see it. Put them in the stroller, please. All of them? Yes. And then we also need to get baby food. Slow down. Alright, now let's go get beds. Should we get one of these? That is really pretty. Or should we get this one? This it's one, too big, I think. This one's good, Mommy. Because when she's gross, she's still not going to be this big. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Maybe we can put this in the crate. Put that in the crate and then we can do one, a big, bigger one outside. She doesn't like the bow in her hair. Coco. Hey, crazy dog. Coco. Coco. Drink your water. Here, drink your water. Now. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go here, baby. Okay, go. Go poop. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Okay, so it's the next day, which is Sunday. It's about 5 something in the morning right now. I think it's like 5.45. And I'm up. I've been up all night, basically. I've been waking up every two hours. No biting. I've been waking up every two hours with this little, no, no, with this little one. Um, I've been waking up every two hours with this little one, so I woke up, no, no biting. So I woke up at like 11, and then at 1, at 3, and then 5. So she only peed this morning when I took her outside, first thing when I got down here, and then did not poop. Also, she the last time she pooped was at 3 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> Coco. And um, she just ate my breakfast. So I took her out again to see if she would go. And it's so cold outside because it's windy. But she hasn't gone yet. So I'm like watching her because I feel like I need to take her out in like 5 more minutes to see if she would actually go poop. But... Um, it's kind of funny because this morning I feel like she's trying to escape. Like when I took her outside for the second time after she ate, um, 
try to go poop she was like trying to like run away from the front yard i think she's having like maybe she misses her mom but we have stop we have a couple of things here from the mom so i forgot to show you what we got but this is basically like a toy that came from the breeder these two things came from the breeder and then the blanket the pink blanket here was actually the mom's blanket so so yeah but she slept down here last night um and so far, no accidents overnight. There was an accident though when we came home yesterday. Peed and poop. So, but she's tiny, so it was it was a little bit of poop, but it was definitely a lot of pee. Okay, she's hiding, so I think she wants to go poop. Come on, Coco. So it's like 6.40 and she just had her treat. We just went out again and I tried to put her on the leash, but the leash is way too big for her and so it, like it kind of like freaks her out a little bit because she was like running around everywhere but i think it's because she's been like sleeping all night and she has a ton of energy right now and wants to play um and it's super windy outside so yeah but um just gave her a treat but took her outside again and she did eat a little bit um actually she did eat quite a bit which is great but she hasn't pooped yet so that's the reason why i've been taking her like outside i'm like kind of afraid to leave her down here by herself but she's not wanting to go to the potty uh, maybe if she takes a nap and then after her nap she will want to go to the bathroom but guys she's so cute i love her so much i'm kind of sad so here's the thing she needs to go get her like shots and another round of deworming so the breeder actually told me yesterday that she was supposed to take her um to the vet but she hasn't because it was the weekend so she actually offered to take her to the vet because she's supposed to be doing it before i even picked her up um but because it was a saturday yesterday the veterinary hospital was closed and i wanted to take this dog home like yesterday so that's why she's with us right now but i think tonight i'm gonna drop coco off at the breeder again which i'm gonna miss her and then the breeder is gonna take coco to the vet tomorrow and then i'll pick coco up from the vet after work so yeah <laughs> that's the plan if not then maybe i'll try to go to the vet like on tuesday if i can Say good morning, Coco. Coco. You want to pet her? Yes. You have to introduce. Good job, Livy. You, you want to give her the toy? You have to introduce to Coco. Coco. Yeah. Everybody meet Coco, our yes. dog. Coco. Good morning. Coco. Guess what? Guess what? You got into the school. You got into the school, buddy. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so congratulations, Alvin. <laughs> you got into the school, Alvin? Are you excited? It's time to go all the clothes, VR headset. All the clothes? <laughs> VR, VR, VR yeah, lab? And then I get um, whatever. Exactly. Hi, friend. Okay, guys. So, Livia and I are out right now. We are actually going to go to a PetSmart because we need to find a sweater for Coco because it's actually really cold and windy. And whenever we take her, take her out, she's always like shivering. So, we're going to go get that. And then we're also going to find a little bell that I can go ahead and put on her collar because she just um she's so fast she's so fast and she's so small and when she runs livy she's just gonna we don't want her to run away from us right mm -hmm. so we have to get her a bell and we also have to get her like a little vest hopefully they have something there but you guys it's like one o'clock not even one o'clock it's 10 to 1 and i feel like it's much much later because i've been up super early and i've done a lot of things already today um so yeah waking up early is just 
amazing. Like I have been trying to get up earlier now um, and I was up at like 5.30 this morning because of the dog. But just love having her around. She is honestly like the sweetest, the sweetest dog. Um, so far she's been doing amazing. She hasn't cried, she hasn't thrown up or anything like that. She has been eating her food too, which is great. I was gonna take her back to the breeder today because she had offered to take Coco to the vet tomorrow like her vet where she was born but I talked to Ryan and Ryan said that like do you have to go to that vet and I said well I don't have to go there the reason why we were gonna go there is because she was born there but he said that's fine just just tell her that we'll just do the shots and everything ourselves and then tomorrow you can call the vet for like her um, like records so far so I said okay and yeah I am going to go ahead and just do that that way I can just take Coco to the vet near our house and just go that way so do you like, see the, do you see a bird right there what else do you see baby what more you want to see more birds right here Olivia there's so many cute ones. Yeah, wait, hang on. Yeah, that's a flower one. Okay, they literally have so many more cute ones here. I should have gotten one from here, Livy. It's cute. Be careful, don't drop them. Okay. last time I picked up the camera but today's actually Thursday and I think the last time I vlogged was on Sunday when I went to the store to get some puppy stuff for Coco and I think I talked to you guys a little bit Sunday morning but yeah guys it's Thursday we've had Coco now for almost a week um, this Saturday will mark a week since we actually got her so I wanted to just come on here really quickly just to kind of share with you guys how the last couple of days been um, so after I spoke with you on Sunday, I mentioned that I was going to take her to the breeder so that she can go to the vet that she was delivered in on Monday. However, I have already gotten so attached to Coco that I, oh, by the way, I don't think I ever mentioned it. We decided to name her Coco. So yeah, on the car ride home, we had a few names kind of like narrowed down and then out of the blue, I just thought of Coco and the kids loved it and I came home and I shared it with Ryan and Ryan was like, yeah, Coco sounds perfect and it seems to really fit her really, really well. So this is Coco. So I have already grown attached to her like really quickly Sunday. I mean like after one day or like after one night, I was talking to my husband and told him like the plan for Monday and then he said like, why don't you take her to the vet and just don't worry about the breeder taking the um doc to the vet and i said well maybe it's good if like the vet who delivered her um like sees her but then nowadays like you can just get the health records pretty easily so i just called the vet that delivered her on monday and then i just got the papers emailed directly to me and then we just took her to the vet um that we go to in our area so i'm glad we did that so i didn't have to take her back to the breeder and yeah i was just so happy i am loving her so much like 
I love Ziggy, my old dog, but she brings a little something different to the household and she's just so freaking cute. I wanted to kind of like show you guys kind of like what I've gotten so far for the puppy. So first things first, I got her this collar. It's like a pink, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pink and it has like crystal studs all over it. It is so freaking cute. And then you can hear that we also have a bell. Um, so it's another collar. It doesn't have a buckle, so it's just a it's just a collar for a bell essentially because she's so small and um, really helps to have like a bell so we can kind of hear like where she is. She's already like multiple times have gone upstairs and she like she's really quick. Um, so we always have to have our eyes on her because she, we're house training her right now. So we got her a harness. This one just came from Amazon yesterday. It is the extra small size, but it's pretty big on her, but I think she will grow into it. So this is really helpful. This one is nice. The collar has like a, a loop so that I can put the leash on her. But yeah, this is also nice for like longer walks. So it's not like pulling at her neck. And then we also got her these um, treats. She loves it. I'm actually going to give her one right now. Here. We obviously got some wee wee pads. I'm not going to bring the food here, but I got the Caesar wet food, a variety of it for her. We are giving her some soft foods um, for like at least her main meals of the day, morning and nighttime. And then in between, if we're at home, we'll give her some like hard food, but giving her some soft foods first. We got a this specific brand of um, hard food is the proforma brand that we got so yeah that's the one we have and then we didn't have to buy like a leash or anything like that because we had it from ziggy but i will show you what kind of leash we're using for her this is the leash that we're using for her right now it is perfect for her because as you can see it's very thin lightweight the only thing is this is a retractable type of leash um, with Ziggy, I remember us using this on him and one time we I automatically release the Lock button here and it kind of like snapped at his neck a little bit and he grew scarred from it And so he hated this leash. So we had to switch him to a different leash So we're very careful not to do that this time But this works perfect for her because she's so small and the other leashes that we have are a little bit more of like the heavier bulkier type so this works perfect we didn't have to buy any of these things because we had it from ziggy which was great we bought this training treats um this actually just came in but her breeder actually gave us some training treats to start off with so we've been using that and then we just got this one so we will use this for house training for potty training so anytime she goes out and if she's peeing in the grass like and if I have a training treat in my hand, I would automatically just give it to her to just reinforce and tell her like, hey, good job. Like that's what you're supposed to be doing kind of thing. Um, and then I'm also doing the same for like leash training as well. And then I got a toy for her. So this is new. We also got her this pet bed. This thing is amazing, guys. We got this from Walmart and it's one of those that has a hood. She loves to hide. So like at night, she would just kind of like sit in here and chill and just like she loves going inside this little hooded area. Um, we like it so much that we're going to get another one for upstairs. So this is the downstairs one. And then I'll insert a video, but we also got her another bed to go in her crate. Part of house training is also crate training, which is very important. We work in the office a couple times a week, so she will need to be at home um, in the crate. And crate training is very good, especially when you're potty training as well. So we put her in the crate in the middle of the night, I mean all through the night, and when we're not at home, obviously. Or whenever we cannot have our eyes directly on her, she goes in the crate. So that's kind of like all the things that um, we have gotten her. Oh, and of course we had to get her new like food water bowls so i got this from walmart i'll insert the picture um, of our setup here and yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah one other thing i forgot to mention that i've gotten is <laughs> 
puppy clothes. Like Ryan has gotten something for her. This is my first outfit for her. It's kind of like a sweater because it's been pretty chilly over here. So it's super cute. Valentine's themed. And oh my gosh, I just got something for her as well. Let me show you what I got. I just got her a tag, a dog tag from PetSmart. So there you go. So this is her right now eating her bone. She loves, loves, loves her bone. <laughs> Look at her, she's so freaking adorable, you guys. Yeah, aren't you so cute, Coco? Aren't you so cute, Coco? <laughs> so, kind of wanted to share a little bit about her first vet visit. This just a couple of days ago, my husband took her to the vet and she weighs 3.2 pounds right now she's so so tiny and the vet checked her out and everything looks great so far so i'm really really relieved to hear that the vet is so helpful because they always give us so many tips um, because she's the kind of dog that requires to be groomed she mentioned that like you know it's good for us to kind of integrate you know like touching her nose her ears playing with her paws right now at this early age because when it, she gets sent to the groomers essentially the groomers are going to be touching those areas and some dogs are extremely fussy and they don't want people to touch them in those areas so she said that we can start doing that to her she mentioned that you know she's still learning how to like wipe herself so if she doesn't clean properly um it could get matted and when her their hair gets matted it's really not a good situation along those lines of hair getting matted there's also possibility a high possibility of her getting her entire like coat like matted as well if we don't brush it so we do have to brush it the good news is which i love is she doesn't shed which is really really nice i do really like that she mentioned that because we have small children she said that you know could treat her like a brand new baby so whenever your toddler your two and a half year taught two and a half year old toddler is around the puppy make sure you always have your eyes on her because you know she's like Coco is still so small we don't want her to get hurt in any shape way or form um she mentioned you know kind of like all the shots so right now she got her first round of shots and she needs to get them every three weeks I think up until she turns four months I believe um, and then after that she would she wouldn't need to get them as often anymore so we got that we started her on her heartworm flea tick medication that one if you're a dog owner you know that this is something that you have to give your dogs um or give your dog once a month so we are giving her this empirica trio and pretty sure the next time i go there which is going to be in a couple of weeks i'm going to ask the vet myself um but usually they put them they give us a medication or we can buy medication for I don't know, Brevecto is the other one that we use to give Ziggy and that one is like once every three months. I think that's for something else, but I can't remember exactly what it's for. All in all, the visit went well. I think our biggest thing right now is just to get her house trained, potty trained, eventually leash trained as well. But yeah, she's doing so good, you guys. Um, we're absolutely in love. And oh, the biggest thing also with potty training, before we went to the vet, like I was waking up every two hours to go to the bathroom with her in the middle of the night. And that was, that was a lot. But the vet said that at this age, which she is 11 weeks right now, they can hold four to six hours. Obviously like four hours is better. So she says, take her out at 10 o'clock at night and then do it again at two o'clock in the morning. And then the next four hours is gonna be 6 a.m which isn't too bad. So I, as soon as I heard that, I was so relieved um, because I just don't want her to have an accident in her crate. And so far she hasn't had an accident in a crate. So that's all good news. But so the other thing that we're trying to work on as well, which my husband is much better at training than I am, is biting like she's biting a lot she's a puppy um i really don't know how to train dogs so i'm like listening to podcasts and stuff and i'll share as i go but she like loves to bite my socks or like my feet which is kind of scary so whenever she tries to bite me i just like tap her on the nose like that but my husband would actually like put his thumb or finger in her mouth and kind of like push down on it so she wouldn't do it um obviously it's not gonna like hurt her but it's also like a reinforcement behavior to tell her like hey that's not cool kind of thing 
So yeah, we're working on that. We don't have any gates, which is one thing I wish we we would have gotten because she's kind of like, just like roaming everywhere. So at least like when I'm at home and I'm not working, I'll just, I have my eyes on her like at all times. But if I'm working, we do create her because, um, because yeah, if we're not looking at her, you know, we want to be able, if she has an accident, like I want to be able to like be able to see her do it and stop her in the act and like take her outside. Those types of things are so important, especially in this early, early stages. Um, so yeah. And then also another thing that we did was um, when we go to the office, we do have a dog walker. That was actually my first time using like WAG, the app, which I cannot recommend it enough. It's super cool. Um, we just picked a walker to come and do a drop-in visit for Coco. I think I paid like 20 bucks um, with tips. I think maybe I paid all in all like 25, but um, he spent about 30 minutes with her, which is perfect. Come in, take her out to the potty, give her some water, some food, play with her for a little bit and put her, take her back out again and come back in. So we did that on Wednesday, which was yesterday. And I think we're gonna do that like once a week going forward. But Ryan's mom is coming to visit, so she'll be around when we're not when we're not around. But yeah, I think that's it, guys, for this puppy vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so in love with our little toy poodle, Miss Coco in the house, Miss Coco Latte. Um, that's Alden's nickname for her, but thank you guys so much for watching if you'd love to see this puppy vlog maybe i'll try to do another puppy centric vlog um going forward but thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next video bye coco 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 she just saw a dog oh. Walk. It's a beautiful day today.